What's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. Today I want to give you a recipe for those game day meals. That's right. NFL season started up, some college games. They're starting to let some fans back in. Uh, I see some people, they're excited to start watching football again, right? So with that, why not make some kind of appetizer, finger food, party food, party snack on the Blackstone griddle, and why not some jalapeno poppers, or atomic buffalo turd, or stuffed jalapeno, bacon wrapped jalapeno. The, 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 the possibilities are endless for what you call them. Uh, you can go very elaborate on this, or you can go very simple. Today, we're going kind of simple. And I'm gonna show you my simple recipe for a jalapeno popper bacon wrapped jalapeno popper, all right? Hey, with that said, let's get to the ingredients, all right? All right, folks, so here we go. We got, we got a block of cream cheese right there. Uh, it's softened. This is Monterey Jack Colby cheese, so it's like a Mexican. And this right here is some Gouda. Gotta get that Gouda. Yeah, I don't know why I gotta say that. But anyway, any rate, here's our jalapenos, okay? I'm gonna show you how I do mine. Uh, how I cut them, core them, that kind of thing. I got some bacon right there. Ooh, hello bacon. Hey. Pretty bacon. And then I want to sprinkle that bacon with a little bit of this Uncle Steve Shake competition pig powder. Pretty simple. Oh, and I got a little garlic powder here uh, that I'm going to put in this mixture. Like I said, like I said, guys, I mean, this is simple. Uh, I've put some little Smokies, uh, the little Smokies, put that inside of there. I've did shrimp, bacon wrap that, shrimp uh, in the jalapeno, um, you name it, brisket, pork, uh, pulled pork, barbecue, whatever, pulled chicken. Possibilities are endless. I talked to one guy the other day, he said he took Bojangles dirty rice and stuffed it in there with some cheese. Whew, that sounds pretty dang good. That sounds like some good groceries. So, hey, I wanna show you how I, um, how I do my peppers, okay? So if you see here, I have a jalapeno, and I like to leave, if you've seen in the video, I like to leave the, the stem on, and I want, and, and I kind of like it whole. I don't like, some folks will slice it all the way down the middle, wrap it, and your stuff kind of falls out or leaks out, okay? So I kind of cut a trap door. I uh, learned this from my buddy, uh, C-Mac, over on Blackstone Boys. Um, and I just kind of cut that trap door where I can stuff the stuff and then we'll wrap it with bacon, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So basically, what I do is I take the pepper and I kind of make a, a top, top notch, okay? And then I take, you wanna get a nice sharp knife and you wanna come down right there, you wanna come down right there and then there you go. There's your trap door, right there. And then, I got this hand, you don't have to have this little doohickey right here, but it's a core. And then I just take it and I hollow out the inside. And that makes it a little bit more tolerable. And it gives you more room to stuff stuff. So, like I said, I went simple on this, okay? There you go. And now you have your trap door and you want to take and you just want to remove that membrane also if you want you don't have to and then you just put it back just like that pretty uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna stir this all together like I said this is softened cream cheese the gouda gouda uh, just do whatever combination you want uh, a nice melting cheese is good uh, you don't even have to do the shredded cheese you could just do um, cream cheese if you want. You can do boars and cheese. Um, like I said, endless possibilities. A uh, little garlic powder. It's probably about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, we're gonna start stuffing these dudes. So to stuff them, I just take the, uh, take a little bit in the end of my spoon like this, and then I just take and lay it in there like that. See how I did that? Just kind of fills it, fills it nicely. 
There we go, just like that. And then put your trap door, like so. Put it down. Now, let's get our bacon. And I don't know if you remember or not, I don't like that piece. I don't know if y'all remember what the world. But my little technique, the bacon, this right here is thin or thick cut bacon, which I generally don't like, but this is what I got. And this is what we're going to use. So we just take one piece of bacon, we kind of stretched it out. And now we're just going to wrap this piece of bacon around the pepper. And that's it. Look at there. Don't have to be that pretty. There we go. Also called Texas Twinkies, right? A little bit of this uh, Uncle Steve's pig powder, competition pig powder. Uh, it's sweet. It's got a sweetness to it that I like. And it's just really good. And there you have it. A little bit more right there. All right. I'm going to fill the rest of these up, and then we're going to put them on the Blackstone griddle. All right. Check me back. All right. So welcome back. Uh, I finished wrapping those. These other ones, got to hit them with some pig powder. Uh, sprinkle this really good. Uh, it's optional at the end. You can, you can also uh, put some barbecue sauce over these if you want. Uh, I'm not. I'm just going to leave them kind of like they are, how they kind of fry up, and go from there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to dust these. Um, then we're just going to put them on the Blackstone, all right? All right, let's get them on. We got some bacon. We're just going to fry it up. Got some extra. I don't feel like taking it back in the house. So why not just cook it? Uh, one word of advice whenever you're, uh, you're doing your trap door, make sure you keep that trap door with that jalapeno because they can get shuffled and you know, that kind of stuff. So word of advice. Not that I've done that before, okay? All right, we got our Blackstone on a low. We're about 325. I just got this side right here on. Um, we're just gonna let this kind of go at a really slow pace. We wanna make sure the jalapeno gets uh, cooked. We wanna make sure the bacon gets cooked and the inside gets all nice and <laughs> nice and gooey. Dang it, boy. It's gonna need some good groceries. All right, we're just gonna let it go, all right? Check back. We're gonna give this a couple minutes. We're gonna turn. All right, it's been about two minutes. I just want to check these. I haven't, uh, Mason's been playing with my tongs again. Just want to kind of flip these over just a little bit. You can see the, the bacon is getting a nice, uh, nice color to it. Beautiful color. Oh, baby. Put that right there. Our other bacon, we're just letting it ride. I'll use it for salads or something like that. Sometimes when you got a black stone, you just cook bacon because you can cook bacon. You got a problem with it? What? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody's got to click it. Let's dome these bad boys. That way it helps create a little bit of convection in there. It helps cook that jalapeno so it's not crunchy, that kind of thing, okay? We're gonna let that go for a couple minutes and we'll come back. All right, hey, it's been a couple minutes. Let's see what we got. Uh, whoo, well, this one right here, it has shrunk up a little bit. It has came out of its shell. So look at that, pretty darn. Yeah, you win some and you lose some. Struggle's real. Rest in peace, soldier. We got some others here. It's gonna make a mess. Uh, you might wanna 
just every once in a while, transition them over to another place. Uh, a little bit of the cream cheese will probably seep out on you. This bacon still needs more time to crisp up. We're just going to dome these again. Let them cook a little bit longer. Another two minutes. So we're at two, two, four, about going on six minutes, okay? All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back. They're done. Let's get these things off of the Blackstone. They're beautiful. Ooh. We're down one, which is okay. I hate it, but it happens. Win some, and you lose some. Look at that cheese, little cheese skirt. I'm gonna put that back there. That's gonna be a little treat for me later on. I'm here to say. Well, there you have it. Blackstones, I just turned it off. We're good to go. All right, we're gonna let these cool and we're gonna give them a try, all right? Check back. All right, y'all, they've cooled off a little bit. Probably not a lot, but hey, let's give them a try. Might slice one of these. Just a... Show you a little bit of this goodness. We'll give it a try. Oh man. That pig powder, it's got a little bit of spice to it. It's got sweetness to it. I get that bacon first and then I get the creaminess of that cream cheese with that Gouda and the Monterey Jack and the Colby and then the pepper the pepper is there. Uh, I took a lot of the, the membrane and the seeds out, so it don't really have a lot of spice. Guys, if you fix this for your party guest, football party, whatever you got going on, you got folks over, you know, make this. Do your own spin. You know, put some meat in there. You know, make it your own. But if you do it like this, it'd be good too. I guarantee it. Hey, I appreciate each every one of you. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the love everybody gives me. Hey, until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.